We see it everywhere on campus. Chalking is a popular method of encouraging student involvement in various organizations on campus. But at the start of the semester this fall, certain chalking left some raising their eyebrows. This, a result of the Traditionalist Youth Network, or TYN for short, forming a chapter at Indiana University in July. Founded by Matthew Heimbach of Towson University and Matthew Parrott, a former IU student, the National TYN website describes the organization's mission as existing to provide resources and support to independent groups of high school and college students who are learning about the traditionalist school of thought. We do attract a very diverse group and very vocal group of supporters and enthusiasts ranging from National Socialist Movement to various clan organizations at the Traditionalist Youth Network we, we don't worry about supremacy. Our interest is in self-determination and in controlling the interests of white people. And Buell says he has experienced some violent backlash to his involvement in the TYN. My lip was busted at a demonstration last week at Indiana State University. The Office of Student Life and Learning here at IU formally recognizes the Traditionalist Youth Network as a registered student organization. In fact, as long as any organization meets the minimum requirement of having five members and fills out an application form, they can begin to receive funding from the university. As far as the Office of Student Life and Learning sees it, this all comes down to a basic constitutional right. As far as I know, especially with the free speech, um, any organization, any interests can really be an organization. Um, I've never heard of one being turned away. Buell says Trad Youth will continue to serve an educational purpose through their street activism to students at Indiana University. In Bloomington, Alyssa Paldo, IU News Source.